Hello everyone, Julia Lee with Poker News. We are here with Martin Jacobson at Main Event Day 2. Now, Martin, how is the Main Event going for you? Uh, not too good so far. Not too good? <laughs> no. Uh, I saw, I mean, Martin, you're known for winning WSOP Main Event 2014, 10 million. Did you, I saw that you entered on day 1A of that year. Did you do day 1A today? I did not, no, I did the opposite here. I, I uh, uh, entered basically as late as possible. Or I, I arrived only yesterday. It was okay. like a very last minute decision. I wasn't planning on coming here yeah. and then decided last minute to, uh, to make the trip. So. Okay. I wanted to ask you a question about the main event and the final table. This year they didn't have the November 9. If you think that there was no November 9 back in 2014, do you think things would have panned out differently? Uh, my God, it's probably yes. Uh, it definitely, uh, the break definitely helped me a lot. Uh, I, uh, I didn't have the best, I had a really good uh, uh, tournament overall, but the, the last uh, the last few levels weren't that great, like I lost a, a big portion of my stack heading into the final as a, a short stack. So the break really gave me time to, uh, you know, regroup and uh, and come back more confident than I, I would have been probably if I if we kept playing straight away. Yeah, so w I mean, what are your thoughts on the November 9? Do you think that they should keep it or they should just go into the final table right away? Um, I don't know. I think there's pros and cons to to both models. Uh, it feels kind of strange right now because like normally the final table would be on in just a few days, and now there's nothing. Like the the uh, a bunch of the finalists are, are even here playing. You know, it's, it's uh, uh, it's strange. But uh, no, I think there's uh, uh, there's definitely an upside to to playing straight away. It's like you don't get that long break and maybe you lose uh, some interest uh, but you also don't get the, the that excitement of the prolonged uh, tournament you know yeah. like in the the wait for the final table which is always exciting and like to see who's prepared and who's uh, playing differently and whatnot but long sweat um, and my friend Paul he's dying to know which poker players keep all of their winnings to themselves and which poker players are giving a portion to charity can you tell us about the charity that you're working with uh, so I'm working with the reg charity uh, I signed up uh, uh, before the final table uh, actually and uh, so I yeah um, and <laughs> just working with them uh, what, what uh, charity an, is it? Uh, so it's it's not it's it's a uh, uh, effective charity so what they do is it's not actually charity itself it's working with charities that are the most effective to to find the ones that uh, saves the most life because um, it's quite common that people when people donate to charity they donate uh, with their heart and not their brain uh, <laughs> it's, it's obviously Speaking with their heart and yeah, not their brain which is okay. obviously yeah you know it's it's uh, it's great for for the person giving like you know you feel good when you give but there's nothing that says that you can't do both you know and then uh, so what reg does they um, they take a more uh, poker or business oriented approach to charity so they forget about what what feels good you just look at like effectiveness of the certain charities like what charities use the money to do the best effect like saving most lives yeah. and there's a uh, there's a certain uh, groups of charities that they um, highlighted on their website that you can pick and choose which ones um, you feel um, more strongly about. Wow, so it's a smart way to donate. Um, and last question I wanted to ask you, I saw that you've changed your lifestyle into being more into health and fitness. Uh, what else have you been doing to kind of just keep up with your playing skills and just keep things fresh? Uh, it hasn't really changed. Uh, it's always been. Uh, I've always been a uh, big advocate of uh, uh, healthy, healthy lifestyle. <laughs> I don't like the term healthy, but like I always, you know, like I like exercising and like e eating, you know, good, <laughs> good foods and, okay. you know. So what, what are you gonna have on your lunch break? Oh, uh, I don't know. Whatever they serve in the buffet here, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully he'll find something healthy there. Um, this was Martin Jacobson. I'm Julia Lee. Thanks for watching Poker News.